And you've recently gone back to FM Records. How come? <coughs> well, it's a long story, but we got in some legal kind of bother with them, and uh, they sued us. And uh, the only way out of like a massive great override for like ever and ever and ever was to record another album, and that effectively kind of um, finishes all kind of. Uh, so you're part tired. on good terms then now. Yeah, reasonably. Well, I'll send him a Christmas card. <laughs> 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 you, by looking at you, I mean you've you've toned down your image somewhat since the slack well, attack. Do you like the shirt? Do you? Yeah, it's very nice. Do you like the trousers? Yeah, it's amazing when you pick up for 50p. So how come you, you sort of toned down the way well, you Well, eight years of clomping around in 12-inch heels and uh, spikes on the inside of your cod pieces and stuff, you know, kind of on medical advice we were told to, uh, you know, try and think of something a bit more sensible, so that's what we've done. And being sued by fans for sort of the... Yeah, the floor yeah, we, exactly, yeah. As well as the legal fees, we've got, like, writs this high of damages and stuff to various people, so we thought, hold on a minute. But your audience hasn't toned down, has it? Because, I mean, you've just recently been in the Sunday sport with girlies taking their tops off. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, hey. Never had a shortage of uh, female breasts <laughs> on our shows. Yeah, uh, we, we put a big female following, yeah. basically, so... So what did the Sunday sport have to say about it? Way hey, basically. Well, typical Sunday sport fashion, really. Yeah. Pinnacle of the national press and all that. But Aliens from another galaxy. What it was, this, uh, th there were some girls at a, a show in Sheffield, and they were kind of doing all this. And uh, one of them Do that got... again, that was quite good. Well, well do you want the actual, sort of this sort of thing, you know? And, uh, uh, Bare nipples. And the thing is, one of them got interfered with on the way home, and the police kind of stopped us. And uh, they carried on coming to the rest of the shows, but somebody's dad followed us all the way down to Plymouth and uh, caused a bit of a scene, and somehow the, the sport got hold of it. So, what can you do? Cause you know? you grief Headliners. Population. I mean, we're just playing all music, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and loving yeah. the And loving every minute of it. Of you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, the marquee gig, that was a, like, packed out, sell out mm, gig. Sold out. Do you think you're kind of being elevated from cult status now to sort of more mainstream status in England? Mm. Ooh, Ooh, hard question one. there. Yeah, it's, it's a bit early in the morning for that question, yeah. actually. Um, we take a rain check on that one. <laughs> no, I mean, how do you feel about that, the fact that you know, you've... Well, it's kind of weird, because when we started off, we were kind of one band doing this outrageous boots, hair, and all that sort of nonsense. Uh, now everybody seems to be doing it. Everybody seems to be doing it, and it's kind of made it a bit more acceptable. So, of course, we're getting loads more people come to see us now who perhaps wouldn't have seen us before, because, like, the American bands have made it more acceptable. How do you feel about that, about the American bands? Do you feel that they're kind of taken think, away from... I think some of them are, are, are quite good, you know. It's, I think we do it better. And I think we do it better in the States as well, but we'll have to wait and Without see about that one. Yeah. Well, let's now have a look at your video. Would you like to introduce it? This is... The Rough Boys! Latest video coming up. <laughs> <laughs> 